Hey guys, Daniel Etheridge here, uh, myfearlessmarketing.com. I've had a lot of people send me video emails because they saw that one video about how I lost 30 pounds, and so I guess they wanted another little follow-up video. Um, and you know, I've had a lot of people call me or also send me emails saying how encouraging that video was. Actually, I think it was somebody from uh, Canada and some people about on the East Coast and West Coast the other day got in contact with me. Well, you know what? Uh, I've been continued to run, continued to watch what I eat, even though uh, after the marathon that I ran, it was kind of hard to. Uh, uh, continue to run as hard as I did because I didn't really have anything to push myself. But the thing that I decided now was that I'm always going to continue to say, okay, there's this race, there's this thing coming up, so I got to push myself to that. If you don't really have a goal set in your mind to what you want to do, then you're not going to achieve that goal. You can't just say, okay, my mindset is that I'm going to, I'm going to lose 10 pounds. Well, what's motivating you to lose that pound, 10 pounds? Just the fact that you want to lose 10 pounds. So what are you doing to get to that 10 pounds? You need to say to yourself, okay. I want to do this by this certain day. I want to lose 10 pounds because I'm going to be in this wedding and I need to fit into this dress. I need to lose 10 pounds because I'm going to the prom and I want to look good in my tuxedo. I need to lose 10 pounds because it's good for my health and because I want to live longer and I want to be here with my kids. I want to be here with my family um, or just whoever. You need to have uh, an end destination. And then once you reach that, you need to set another goal. So for me, once I got done running that uh, half marathon, I had to get online and I had to find other like 5Ks or half marathons or goals within myself to push myself to continue to run and watch what I eat. And you know, the hardest thing to do about losing weight is watching what you eat because eating is like a daily struggle because I love food. Um, and it's really hard for me because I used to could eat anything that I wanted to from playing sports in, in college up until I was about 24 years old. I was always out every day having to get outside and practice and play ball and run. And so it was just, you know, it was a form of a job. It was an everyday routine, and so it didn't really matter what you ate or what you drank, Coke or whatever. You know, I tried to eat healthy, and so that's what I try to do now. So for those of you out there that saw my first video and those of you that are watching this video, so make an end plan of what you really want. Go write it down say, this is what I want, and this is why I want that. If you want to make money why do you want to make money do you want to make money because you just want to have some green in your pocket or you want to have a bigger bank account so you can brag about it that's not really going to get you there you need to ha say okay i want to make money so i can free up time i want to lose weight so i'm healthier i want to lose weight so i can fit into this dress i want to do this i want to do that i want to just whatever it is i want to have this car because of this I don't care what it is, but you need to have a reason why you want the thing that you want and why you're going to do the thing that you're going to do. Otherwise, you're not going to be a success. But you know what? I got faith in you and uh, continue to get out there and do the things that are going to make you happy and do the things that's, that uh, you need to do to get there. And you know what? The easiest way, I've learned this thing, the easiest way is never the right way. You cannot cut corners in anything that you do because when you cut corners, you leave things out, um, you shortcut it. For instance, um, you know... Is having surgery for uh, weight loss a shortcut? Uh, possibly. Is there going to be complications from that? Mm, I've seen a lot of them. I worked in the hospital in one of the ICU, so I've seen a lot. But I can't say that that's not the route for everyone or that should be the route for everyone. So I encourage everybody to take the, uh, take the long road, man. The road less traveled. It will mean so much more to you in the long run. And you'll feel better about yourself uh, no matter what you do. And... Hey, I got faith in you. You got any questions? You want to talk to me? You need some words of encouragement? Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Don't forget to do that because I put videos up uh, weekly. Sometimes I try to do them every other day or so. Um, also, rank my videos whether you liked it or not liked it and leave me a comment. If you want to hear some th some other things you want me to talk about, uh, some other parts of uh, losing weight or just you know the world, society in general, let me know and I'll get a video out on it. Talk to you later. Have a great day. Bye.